This is the third in a series of videos about putting text on a PowerPoint slide. In this one, I'd like to consider pasting text from Word or other text sources onto slides. We've so far considered text placeholders and the text box tool. Now we're going to talk about pasting text. Let's create a new slide here. I'm going to use the blank layout and I want to duplicate the quote uh, of Kofi Annan on this new slide. Now let's say I had this quote in a Word document. Let me pop up my Word document here. And you see I have the quote here twice. Once with line breaks, once without. Let me turn on the format marking so you can see. On the top one you'll see a couple of soft returns here, carriage returns or line breaks, and a hard one here. If I were to copy this text, and notice that it's in a, a sort of a strange font too called Algerian, a font that's not normally used um, or not used very much. But let's go ahead and copy this from Word with the formatting it has. Let's go back to PowerPoint now. Right click on the slide somewhere and here are my options. I can paste using the destination theme and notice that it retains that strange font. Keep the source formatting same thing. Paste it as a picture. That's worse yet because I can't resize it then. Or keep text only. And this is the one I recommend you always use when you're pasting from another text source. I pasted it in and it retained the two soft breaks and the hard breaks. And you can see if I stretch out my text placeholder container here, it doesn't affect the text in there because those line breaks uh, still apply. I can resize it this way and of course it will wrap to fit the new container. Okay, now let's just delete that and show another example of pasting from a website. I'm going to pop up my browser here and I've already pre-selected three formatted texts on a web page. It's particularly problematic when you paste in materials from websites because they contain a lot of hidden HTML codes. Uh, but let's go ahead and right click and copy this material that I've highlighted here and then go back to PowerPoint. And if I were just to paste it into the slide using Control V, I'd end up with something like that. The uh, first block of text is still bold. The second one is in uh, pretty much the default, default font for PowerPoint. The third one is a link and it's colored strangely and uses yet a different font. Okay, not what I want to do. Rather, once again, here's the important point I'm making. Right click and use these paste options to paste text only. And that way the strange formatting we saw on the website gets stripped out and you only work with text. And in fact, this text will resize because it doesn't have line breaks in it, you see. Okay, so these tools are also on the paste command on the home tab of the ribbon. There's those paste options. They're up there and available to you. But the easy way to use them is to right click and choose the one that you want. And, it, and the one you want when you're pasting text is always keep text only. Thanks for listening.